So this was the uh, first tilt design that I created to uh, try to integrate an IPD connector, an installation power distribution connector, into uh, a lightsaber design. I wanted it in between the emitter uh, and the hilt, and uh, part of the connector itself actually has a back shell of its own that it comes with, and I created the handle and switch section uh, to mimic that and re reconnect on that, but only three positions wasn't enough, so I went on to uh, work on a five position version of this, and that's where we're going to lead into next year. And so this is the uh, the new prototype using the five position connector. This is just the emitter section. I wanted to see how that was going to work out with uh, the electronics that I had just tested. And so we'll take the, uh, the uh, new LED emitter here and feed that through. Uh, get the wires fed in there. Uh, it's got all the resistors built in to that uh, point there. And we're going to bring those through and connect them to the back side of the IPD connector. So this is all push-in technology. Um, it usually works really easily. You just push a ferrelled wire or a solid wire into the uh, connection point, uh, into the termination. But uh, with this, um, the wires are too small, so they don't have enough rigidity to push in past the spring mechanism. So once they're all connected there, We'll screw this onto the IPD connector like it would normally be panel mounted into a fixture or onto a cabinet. And then uh, for fixing the blade in place, I chose one of the cable glands. Uh, we use these for uh, capturing uh, cables going into connectors or into cabinets uh, to seal them up. So I decided to use this to capture the uh, blade. Uh, it's all. This is all stuff for. Uh, my work at Phoenix Contact. This is a promotional saber, so I thought the more product that I can use from the company, the better. And so that locks that in. I um, found out later, I, I wrenched this down once. After that, I just uh, went by hand and tightened it up from there. And then we'll uh, have all the wiring plugged in there, all the at least test wiring, and put the battery in. and fire it up and see how it goes. That's interesting. That's the one. <laughs> and so this is the test setup that I had for the wiring. Um, I just wanted to get everything kind of put together there and I wanted to have one connector that would allow me to do a quick disconnect of all the uh, different wiring that I had going on. Board in the speaker, board to the battery, all that there. And then I finally replaced it here with these PTSM connectors that are uh, another spring type contact. Um, doesn't need any screws or crimping or anything. And I use that for all my different connections, battery, speaker, LEDs, switches, all that. And so you're looking at this here with it finally wired up and connected through so that um, everything's kind of the way I wanted it to be there. For the most part, uh, that's how it ended up. And all those connectors are easy way to disconnect and pull everything apart if I need to to uh, 
work on the inside a little bit. And then I 3D printed a carrier for the board and the uh, battery holder. So this is the uh, final design. Uh, everything else was PLA printed at home, but this I sent the uh, out for uh, better materials that are going to be more durable. Uh, the handles, uh, glass filled nylon, and the uh, pommel and emitter section are actually aluminum filled nylon. And uh, so I replaced the uh, five position permanent connector, fixed connector, with this disconnect that is a push to lock, twist on lock. So now I can take this and just pop it together. And this is the battery setup. Charging. And just a comparison of all three styles that I had here. The original with the disconnect. This one here with the fixed IPD for uh, permanent connections. Take the back shell right on there directly, and that's the old prototype. And this is the final design with the uh, disconnect. Just one final look at all three steps through this, connected and disconnected.